Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 121. Now in this tutorial I want to finish off the chest interaction for looting. So let's open up Unity. And I've gone ahead and completed off pretty much all of it. So I'll show you what we're aiming for. So basically you can walk up to a chest, click it, and of course you know it's going to open up and show you its contents. Then of course you can click the little close button which will close it. Another thing you can do is uh, after you're done looting the content you can just click the chest itself to close it. I also want to be able to click another chest and have a, the first chest automatically close and open up the second chest and of course you know this will work you know, on any chest. This is why I put three in the scene. This was something I hadn't planned in my initial uh, design but it was something that came up while I was playing around with it. But and the third option is when they run away, have a close. Okay, so let's jump into Mono Develop and let's see how we're going to get this to work. So I'll go ahead and open up Mono Develop. And I'm going to start off with the My GUI class. Now this is what displays the window. I'm going to come down to our game object that we have saved as chess. And I'm going to change this a bit. Uh, first off, I'm going to make it public so we can access it outside of of this script. Now, since we're only ever going to open one chest at a time, we only need to keep the reference to one chest at a time, and we should only ever have one instance of this my GUI class running. So I'm going to make this static, and basically what that means is that if for some reason you ever do get multiple copies of this script running, it's going to refer to the same chest. So I'm not exactly sure how you're going to have your setup. If you're going to have your setup similar to mine, uh, I'm making mine static. And I'm going to change this from a game object to the actual name of the, the script. So my script is called chess, and that's what I'm going to uh, make its data type. All right, so let's scroll down a bit. So we've got our on GUI, we've got our loot window. Uh, and then we have our close button in the loot window. I'm going to scroll down a bit more. And now since we're changing the data type of chess, we don't actually have to call the get component part of it. Uh, we can just completely erase that. Since what we're accessing now is not the actual game object itself, but the script. And now we can just directly call its mouse up, which of course is uh, right here. And I think that's pretty much all the changes we're going to have to make there. So I'll save that off and I'm going to head into my chess script. So if we scroll down to our update, there's one more function I want to add in here and basically check to see if this chest itself is in use. So if not in use, I am just going to return. There's no point in checking anything else. And then down here where we're checking the distance of where the chest is compared to the player, instead of calling or broadcasting out this message to close the chest, which is captured by our on GUI class, what I'm going to do now instead, since that chest is static, we can call it directly. So my GUI dot chess, and we're going to create another function called force close. which does not take any parameters. And what this does is basically, regardless of the state that that chest is in, we're just gonna force it to close so we can continue on like opening this chest. Now because of a couple little changes, I wanna come down to our on mouse up. And if we go down here to where we're checking, if the state is open, then we're gonna set the state to in between. Then we're gonna call the close routine, or the coroutine. We're not gonna start that coroutine anymore. What we're going to call is the force close method that we're going to make. And then if we come down into our state close, which is basically what happens when we check to see if the chest is closed, and if so, we're going to open it. We're going to add a check at the start to check to see if the, the chest value in my GUI uh, has anything assigned to it. And if it has anything assigned to it, we're going to want to call its force close so that it will close it. Uh, before we try opening this chest. So we'll just put it right at the very beginning. 
we'll just say if my GUI dot chess does not equal null so that means there is something assigned there we'll just say my GUI dot chess dot force close now I'm going to come down to the open method next and right before we're actually checking to see if the player is there what we're going to want to do is assign this chess like this script that's attached to this chess to the chess property and our GUI or my GUI so we'll just say my GUI dot chess is equal to this which is just a reference to this script now because we're assigning the chess up here we no longer have to assign the chest here so now we're just sending in the int which of course later on it's going to be an array of items but we can get rid of this parameter and since we're getting rid of it down here we actually should go to my on GUI to the on enable and let's get rid of it here too I'll make sure to save my on GUI we'll head back into chess and let's head down to the close method now in the close method it doesn't look like anything's going to have to change but what we're going to add is our force close method right after it so we'll make it public so we can access it outside of this script it does not return anything force close and all this method does is send out a message and that will be the message to close the window that we're using in uh, the my on GUI script so we've been using it a bit and it's just called close chess at least that's the message I'm using and then I'm going to use the stop coroutine now this was the benefit of using the start coroutine and passing in a string as opposed to the other ways of uh, starting a coroutine is that we can stop them now so I'm going to stop the coroutine and the coroutine I want to stop is called open so if the chest is in the middle of being opened it just stops it and well basically ends that coroutine now right after that I'm going to want to start another coroutine and the coroutine I'm going to want to start is close. Now I believe that's everything that I've changed. So let's go into Unity and we'll see if any errors pop up. And I have a few. So it says a method or a delegate, my GUI popular. Okay, I did not change the parameters here. So we'll come down to populate chess and it longer takes a variable here which means we also delete that I'll save that off head back into unity check to see if there's any more errors and that seems to have cleared them all up so let's test it out we'll start it up all my mouse events seem to be working for hovering open a chess I'm gonna click to close the chess that worked. Open the chest again. I'll click on the next chest beside it, which closes this chest, opens this one, gives me five new items. And let's also test running away. There we go. Only a few lines of code had to change, and we've added uh, a little bit of functionality now. Uh, I can close the chest just by clicking on it, which will also close the, the window down. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.